Sponsoring my guy. He might not finish games, but he definitely finishes food. Cajo qualified for an Uber Eats sponsorship. Shut up. Uh. Chronicler exiting. Faker's going to retire into the entire region. Splitting up is going to be glorious. Welcome, Nongshim Zeus. I think that's unacceptable levels of flame, even for New Forest. Very disappointed. Why the fuck are you slamming the Nongshim boy noodles there? They're delighted and bring joy to the LCK with every game they play and the best social media manager in the game. Very cringe. <laughs> Some world changes. Some world's patch changes trying to nerf lane swaps and AD carries mid. Turret changes pre 50 minutes. Ooh, 10% damage reduction. Bro. I don't think Riot get lane swaps. It's not that it's bro. In in ev in every lane swap right now, they will go top tower will stay at five plates and bottom tower will be at one plate. It's not the plates. It is not the plates at all. It's putting enemy top laner behind. It doesn't matter. If you're a carry top, I'll swap on you. And I'll make sure you're 1CS and down in levels for the rest of the game. I'll do it. If I have a hard bot matchup, I'll swap so I can get free farm early. If anything, what could happen... You know what I could think they could do to make the lane swaps less effective? Is you can make bot tower squishier. You know? But then you're going to open up the Caitlyn Lux of the world, you know? I don't know how you fix it, but... Um, you know... Bot tower just sits on one plate. Fleet footwork, base heal is down. Yeah. Triforce move speed is... Is higher for melees, lower for ranged. And attack speed's down. So that hurts like Esriel and shit. Uh, storm surge, damage thresholds are... Redu damage threshold reduced from 35% max. Speed, 25% range damage increase. So they're trying to increase burst. They dropped the move speed on it. They're buffing. They're buffing mage items, aren't they? We'll wait for the full patch to come out. Shield bows health early higher, late flatter. Shields now reduced to 80% for ranged. Life steals down on beat. Bro, they're gutting 80 carries. Holy fuck. Bloodthirster nerfs, shield bow nerfs, triforce nerfs. I mean, they're gutting champs like Estriel, MF. Wait, what is the bloodthirster nerf? Life steals down and shield is down. It's quite high early, though. Oh, it's 1 to 18, 8 to 18. Okay. 194 at level, 80, uh, level 8. So actually, it's lower. Flat on early as well. E bonus move speed's down on Rel. Jack's R on hit base damage is increased. That's a big LPL buff. R armor's bonus. Time. So j small Jack's buffs on his ult. Passive health ratio increased from 7% to current 8%. So it's auto deck. Mini base AD is increased on NAR. I don't know what that is. Okay, we'll wait for the full patch, but it sounds like they're trying to gut AD carries a bit. Aiming gets Gold King Award. Is it time for the Weibo era? We saw all this. Take care, my fellow rats. I got stung by some big-ass hornets. Oh my god, bro. You're okay? What the fuck? Meet and greet. Yeah, chat, if you're in Munich, I'm doing a meet and greet at 3 p.m. at the Expo tomorrow on Saturday. Yeah, we went through all of this. We saw that. Wait, it says Poby. Fix the quality, you pig. Maybe I've also started getting one guide. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have to deal with. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know what? Viper is a Zix main. I take it back. Look at him. Rat mode. All right, let's check the new stream quality chat. POV Cajal doing a CS2 Gamba live stream. Tier 3 subs, tier 2 subs, tier 1 subs. Cajal, minus 500 bucks, minus 500 bucks. Yo, on the CS on the CS case openings, I spent 300 euros, okay? It wasn't 500 bucks. I spent 300 euros over 30 minutes. Over 30 minutes of opening cases. Razork explains why Fnatic does not herald mid tier 1. Ooh. In Fnatic, we also have um, a different playstyle than other teams. For example, we don't herald mid that often. And, I and uh, you see... Every team. You guys love side lane tier two. Yeah, we were like, I will take that. I don't care. I, I will take a side lane tier two over a Baron. No, yeah, I'm kidding. like you I guys mean, love 650 not, not gold. Not the Baron. Yeah, yeah. you guys love that. Like <laughs> I've never seen. I'm not never seen, but you guys love that money. That bag of money yeah. does it for you. I've seen you. You'll sack a lot of objectives. You're like, we'll take mid 15 minutes, mid tier one 15 minutes. Why do you do it? Why, why I mean, we just have a different understanding. This is more like humanoid theory of how to play the game, right? And. Mm. We just think that if we can pressure one side lane and make them catch under T1 or, or really far, then we feel like if we just 
recall and then go both silence, mm. push them out, then mid tower is free. So we just want to get the extra gold so we are stronger for the mid tower fight. We will have numbers probably. So that's why we just don't feel like mm. heralding for mid tower. There are also some teams that they're like, oh, we have to herald for mid tower because it's the most important tower in the game. Sure. Yeah. It is important tower. I agree. But we just don't like doing it. Okay. So they just don't like doing it. Okay, so the reason, quick reasoning, Mr. Razor K, is I feel like, okay, I understand what he's saying. Let's take bot tier two, and then or, or top tier two, and then we go side to mid, right? And we collapse and get mid tier one. I think that he talks about it more. I'd love to see the full clip. That works, I think, and it works on paper. However, I think getting mid tier one is much easier for objective setups because... If you have their mid tier one, setting up for Drake is so much easier. Otherwise, in most cases, you're gonna have to go through bot or to, uh, go through bot to contest if it's bot tier two. And if it's top tier two, then you don't even have like enough control of the map to contest Drake through bot side. So I think mid tier one allows better Drake control, but it's subjective. If you have a good side laner and you can like drop Drakes even for even more side push, then sure. But yeah, I think if you have bad wave clear mid, I disagree. And if you have bad side laner, I disagree. But yeah, um, I would love to see the full clip. I think there is definitely scenarios where taking side tier twos is better. What is this? Nice name. Same to you, brother Red. Of course. What? Cageful and Ratata met up in game and started dancing? And you just found each other? Okay, you're so fucking ill. It's crazy. Yo, chat. Jun broke his foot. Can you believe it? Marasaka broke his foot. Series. Oh, he sprained his foot. He fractures his ankle Even or something. Shit, didn't he he fractured like his foot or some shit. Kendrick Isn't that the same as broken? Care for Elise and Katarina's cute cookie cutters. Ooh, ooh, Wait, where is the tweet? I'm on it. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, he, he broke his... Not broke. He fractured something in his foot. He fractured something in his foot. How did he break? How did he? How did he yeah, why does why does someone on Fnatic always break something or fracture something before their important series? How does that happen? I swear this is crazy. This is the third time it's happened in Fnatic before they play an important best of five. It happened with Soas Bwipo. It happened last year with Oscar Rinin, and now it's happening this weekend as well. Why do they always play with broken something? It's tradition at this point. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like tradition. 